I, I would say I viewed it as a little bit of a gamble. Um, if I didn't win, what would have happened? Would I be yeah. in this opportunity now? Um, would I would I have had the opportunity to run races at JGR over the past couple of years in, in the Xfinity Series? Um, I mean, the sport is about winning, marketability, and, and what you are able to bring to the table. And I feel like being able to win races kind of puts you back on the map, I guess. Um, when, when you aren't winning races and you're running 15th to 25th every week, you kind of fall off most people's radar, right? You're, you're not the young hot shoe in the truck series or the Xfinity series trying to get to a top series uh, or a top ride in the cup series. So um, I, I felt like that this was the path that I needed to choose to be able to align myself with, with a, a top tier team in the cup series one day and be able to go win cup races. You know, and before your time product, you must remember back when your dad was racing, there was a period where the Xfinity Series had 25 cup drivers. Yep. Um, so now where these guys are limited, well, you still have the opportunity to race whether they're limited with the you know, truck series. How much does that help a guy like you in the, in the sense of it allowed you to make this move and, and do this reset, whereas opposed, you know, there's still 20 guys racing the Xfinity Series. There's, you could do the reset, but there's there's no place for you to climb up to as much or it becomes harder. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree with that. I think that it opened up more seats, right? Yeah. Um, from being able to run double duty in the Cup Series and the Xfinity Series. But who's to say that if you're running full-time in the Cup Series at that time, instead of me doing the reset, you could have been one of those full-time guys in the Xfinity Series with a top-tier team trying to win Xfinity Series races. So, um, I don't know, times have definitely changed for sure, right? So, um, I, I feel like with the limited schedule that Cup drivers can run now, it definitely helps open up seats in the Xfinity Series, but um, at the same time, I wish that we were racing against those guys every week just because of how much you learn from them and, and how hard they race you. Do you feel like there is a, the last couple of years you've been in this TRD system, do they have like a long-term plan or, because in some ways it seems like you're, you're racing for your life every year, but is, is there some sort of infrastructure under you that if everything goes well, there is a long-term plan with TRD? Uh, there's nothing necessarily set in stone, um, but I definitely am glad to be a part of the TRD program. Um, Toyota TRD has definitely been very great to me and giving me the opportunity to go back to the truck series um, to then kind of step up. But um, I, I feel like my home is kind of here um, with Toyota TRD um, and, and hope to continue with them for a very long time. Because I feel like throughout your entire career, there's been no guarantee of anything, right? And like every race is this do or die moment. Every playoff is a do or die moment. Um, how valuable has it been the last couple of years having at least some kind of infrastructure that there could be a pathway forward? Uh, it, it definitely feels good to know that there's opportunity out there, um, but at the same time with not having things signed or whatnot, there's, there's always kind of that thought in the back of your mind, but I feel like as I've grown up over the years, I've not had to kind of sit around and worry as much, I would say. Um, if you were telling me when I was 18 that I, I didn't know what I was going to do, then um, I, I definitely felt like I would have been stressing out, not sleeping over uh, the, the thoughts of, of what could happen or, or what couldn't happen. So um, I feel like now you, you just kind of figure out what's important in life. And um, racing is definitely one of those to me, but being able to have a family and, and have fun with them and enjoy life, it, it definitely puts a lot of things into perspective. Your dad had a kind of a journey man career too so I feel like it's kind of similar to your situation do you lean on him at all in terms of or is everything just so different now that there's not a lot of carryover I feel like everything is very different now that there's not a ton of carryover um, there's certain things that I'll talk to him about or lean on him about but it's not um, it, it's definitely not like the olden days like like we were talking about earlier the uh, hat 